following opinions are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Hi, I'm Steve for Botest.com, and today we're going to conduct a features inspection of a new yacht from Veecham, the 46 IPS. She's a two-stateroom, two-head coastal cruiser with an astounding level of fit and finish that speaks of a much larger yacht, but this is a cruising couple's boat with plenty of amenities. Her profile has the classic look of a down east design with the yacht quality finish that permeates through the whole boat. Combing sides extend well aft so we board from the tea covered swim platform that extends 3 feet 6 inches from the transom. We access the aft deck from the port side door and a stainless rub rail is custom etched. Storage is right alongside. The aft deck is roomy and comfortable with seating consisting of an L shaped lounge to starboard that surrounds a beautiful teak table with well executed inlay work. It folds to allow better entry and exit from the seating and is mounted to a freestanding base allowing it to be moved to various locations as we'll see shortly. Storage is under the seats. The teak decking from the swim platform continues here. A cabinet with storage is to the forward end. To port, a cabinet houses an electric grill with a refrigerator beneath. A seat is alongside with storage underneath. Overhead is a retractable awning that provides welcome shade to the aft deck. We enter the salon through sliding glass doors that open double wide. It'd be easy to just use stainless steel frame doors like everyone else and leave it at that, but this boat is loaded with quality fit and finish that starts here. Not only are these doors wood framed, but they're interconnected with belts so that they all open smoothly and evenly instead of one hitting and dragging the next one along. As we enter the salon, the headroom was measured at 6 feet 11 inches. To port is an L-shaped sofa wrapping around a movable pedestal table. There are clear sight lines out the side windows that let ample natural light into the salon. The table also includes beverage holders, and with it removed, the space opens up for larger gatherings. And notice how even the beverage holders in the salon are fabricated from wood. And here we continue to notice the, what can only be described as meticulous, dedication to fit and finish. It's clearly paramount at the Veecham Yard, and the dedication to the craft can be seen virtually everywhere. Overhead, the mahogany trim continues and notice around the hatches how the trim is fabricated from single pieces of steam-bent wood. Apparently just fitting the bomber hatches into place just wouldn't do. Additionally, notice the intricate cuts where the side trim meets the woodwork of the hatches. The cabinetry is equally well executed with patterned doors and perfect joinery. All of this veneer is all 1.7 mils thick, so if need be, it can be sanded down multiple times and refinished. Heat and air conditioning vents are concealed behind the valances. Veecham thoughtfully included accessibility to the SureShade mechanical components. Decking is a combination of mahogany and holly. To starboard is a credenza with, by the way, an included backgammon board with inlaid wood, custom made by Veecham. Inside are an ice maker, the AV components, and storage. Behind is the TV on an electric lift. A watertight door is adjacent to the helm, and even that gets the quality treatments from the wood finishing department. Before heading below, notice the framed companionway trimmed in a single piece of finished curved mahogany that makes a clean joint to the end pieces, and this dedication to the craft is just everywhere. As we head down below, we're first greeted by an open-air atrium with the galley over to the port side. Storage is under the stairs with water manifolds easily accessible behind a set of doors to the aft bulkhead. The galley includes plenty of storage behind cabinet doors with patterned grain woodwork. A microwave is at the aft bulkhead. Just below is a refrigerator. Corian counters include a two burner cooktop and a single basin stainless steel sink. There's an opening port light for ventilation above the stove. A hall side window adds more natural light. Now, everything closes with a push to click and opens the same way, and I found that leaning against stuff meant opening it as well. The master stateroom is forward and claustrophobic it is not, as we measured a ceiling height of 6 feet 10 inches. Ahead is a 6 foot 8 inch by 5 foot 4 inch island berth with access to both sides. Storage is below and to the hull sides. Beecham did a nice job of combining embedded windows and storage solutions. LED reading lights are to both sides of the forward bulkheads. Although it seems an affront to the finished work of the stateroom, we understand why Beecham had to add a TV to the forward bulkhead, but to our eye, we'd not spoil the elegance of the room with this option. Decking is a continuation of the mahogany and holly from the main deck as is the patterned grain doors to the cabinetry. And overhead we're seeing more of the same treatments from the Veecham wood finishing department. Inside the hanging locker we usually see cedar laminate tossed in, but here the careful dedication to the craft continues instead. Even the heat and air vents weren't spared the quality woodwork that seems to now be the hallmark of the brand. 
Above the berth is a single piece of curved wood with mahogany trim work. The inside of the entry door is a full-length mirror and alongside is the private entrance to the ensuite head. Inside, no surprises to see that yet another space wasn't spared the attention to detail of the woodworking department with mirrored cabinetry, patterned doors, there's a vessel sink atop the Korean counter, and look at the quality of this mahogany frame shower door. Not even Megias take the time to build a custom door like this with a curved top and stainless hardware. Inside, there's teak grating over the shower deck. The guest stateroom is located to starboard. It features a set of twin berths. Individually, they measure 6 feet 8 inches by 2 feet 2 inches, and a filler cushion converts them to a single berth 5 feet 4 inches wide. The overhead geometry varies with the height ranging from 6 feet 10 inches to 6 feet 6 inches. The deck is a continuation of the mahogany and holly with a high gloss finish. Just ahead is a private entrance to the guest head. Small but functional, there's storage behind a pair of mirrored doors. A vessel sink is below with storage beneath. A curtain partitions off the shower and toilet. This also serves as a day head with a second entrance leading to the main companionway. Our first reaction as we stepped aboard the 46 IPS was shock and awe. She's beautifully finished with a true yacht look and appeal. She's also a comfortable handling boat, but that's another video. Be sure to look for it. For now, that's our features inspection of the new 46 IPS from Veacham. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.